Okay, welcome back. It's Rose Gray from Bridgeford Elementary. I'm super excited today because we are going to be exploring drawing in a different sort of way. We're going to do a subtractive drawing. Just like in math, subtractive means take away. And in this case, we are going to be drawing with our eraser rather than our pencil. And we are going to be taking away the pencil or the graphite from the page. We are going to take a close look at the values we see in an object and we're going to see how those lights and darks work together to define the edge. So let's see what we'll need next. So all you're going to need for today's lesson is a piece of paper, a pencil, I have several kinds of erasers here, a pencil sharpener, and some kind of simple object to draw. Okay, so to start with, what we're going to do is take our whole sheet of paper and fold it and tear it into a much smaller piece of paper. Since we are using um, a pencil to create the overall um, darkness of our page using the graphite rather than like a piece of charcoal if we were in the classroom. We don't want to use such a large piece of paper. So I always take mine and fold it in half. Get a nice crease on that edge and then fold it in half again. Get a very nice crease on the edge and then simply tear on the crease. So you have a piece of paper that's about a fourth of the size of your original paper. Okay, the next step once you have your paper torn is to um, cover your paper with um, pencil or graphite. I prefer to go back and forth. You might want to do a rhythm where you're going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. It doesn't have to be crazy dark. Um, I find it's better to um, kind of overlap rather than to try and press down crazy hard. And I'm gonna fast forward to one I already have done. And when you're done, it should look something like this. An overall fairly even value. You can even take your finger if you want and kind of smudge to give it a smoother tone. I don't mind the texture lines in there, so that's not gonna bother me. Um, then I am going to take a close look. Then using my artist eyes, once I have my paper prepared, I'm gonna take a close look at the object I'm drawing. Like I said, I'm just gonna draw a simple mason jar. And if I look at it and look for the lightest lights, the highlights, I'm gonna see on the right side, right down here, where the light hit it, hits it best, you have really, really high highlights. And then also down in the left corner, there are um, really, really bright lights. But since um, you can see straight through it because it's glass, the whole thing will be drawn out lightly with my eraser. So let's. Let's take a quick look and see what that's going to look like. So I'm going to use my eraser and kind of draw out the basic shapes of my mason jar, starting with the lid. And just as if you were drawing in pencil and you thought, oh no, I made a mistake, if you're drawing with eraser, you can always go back in and fill in the subtractive pigment. So the whole process is subtractive. I am going to kind of get the basic shape. And here at the top, I really, really don't like what I did with this lid. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'll fill that space back in. And I'm going to try again. Okay. So now I like that shape a lot better of the lid. Um, I'm going to go in here and I see that I have ridges in my lid. So I'm using my eraser to draw the ridges. I know that the lightest highlight was on this side. So what you're going to find is if you look at the shape of those highlights, and the direction that they move in, the more you press down, the lighter the image will get. In the middle of my mason jar, I have a circle shape right here, so I'm using my eraser to kind of draw. And I'm going to continue to try and get those lightest lights. I'm going to go back in with my pencil and kind of define that lid shape a little bit again. Still not 
Really loving it. And what you'll see me do as I'm doing a subtractive drawing is I'll go in there and get my lightest lights and then I'll go back in and add some darks or change the shape. What I ended up with was not perfect, but a pretty interesting um, quick subtractive drawing of a mason jar where you see one side that is really, really lit and a shadow on the other side with some highlights. You can see the movement of the lid. I would love for you to try this process. Um, pick an object that you find easy to draw. It does help if it is um, one that shows highlights and shadows really well. And explore subtractive drawing.